লকডাউনের সময়কে যথাযথভাবে ব্যবহার করেনি কেন্দ্রীয় সরকার এই অভিযোগ করেছেন সিপিএম এর সাধারণ সম্পাদক সীতারাম ইয়েচুরি শুক্রবার ফেসবুক লাইভে এক সাংবাদিক সম্মেলনে ইয়েচুরি বলেন শুধুমাত্র সবকিছু বন্ধ রাখাই সমাধান নয় এই সময় উচিত ছিল বিপুল হারে পরীক্ষা করা কোন কোন এলাকায় বেশি সংক্রমণ হচ্ছে তা চিহ্নিত করে জায়গাগুলিকে ঘিরে দেওয়া কিন্তু ভারতে পরীক্ষার হার খুবই কম লকডাউনের পর্বে তা আদৌ বাড়েনি হংকংয়েও এক লক্ষ তেরো হাজার মানুষের পরীক্ষা হয়েছে ভারত তা একশো বিরানব্বই ইয়েচুরি বলেন এই পরীক্ষা করে ধাপে ধাপে লকডাউন প্রত্যাহার করা উচিত লকডাউন প্রয়োজন হতে পারে কিন্তু তার সঙ্গে অন্যান্য প্রয়োজনীয় কাজও করা উচিত কেরালা সরকারের বিশেষজ্ঞ কমিটিও ধাপে ধাপে লকডাউন প্রত্যাহার করতে বলেছে কিন্তু পরীক্ষার সংখ্যা অনেক বাড়িয়ে তা করার পরামর্শ দিয়েছে কেরালা তা করছে সব রাজ্য সরকারকেই এই ব্যাপারে সাহায্য করতে হবে কেন্দ্রকে সিদ্ধান্ত নেবে রাজ্য সরকারগুলি Now these are the issues that need to be done now while the lockdown is on. The second area that comes down is the meaning of a lockdown anywhere in the world is that during the period of the lockdown there is large scale testing and this testing is done and on that basis we isolate the pockets where this is spreading very intensely and seal those pockets and that is the way to control this spread of the pandemic. But then what is the level of testing in our country? Now third week has already begun, we are midway. Now in these days, during these days, the testing has hardly ever grown. Now we have the, probably the lowest testing rate in the whole world. Hong Kong for instance, tests currently 13,000 people per million. 13,000 for 10 lakhs. India we test 102 in 10 lakhs. Even Pakistan tests more at 191 for 10 lakhs. Now this will not do. This has to be speeded up urgently and the lockdown must be utilized to identify the areas that need to be isolated if necessary sealed and allow normal activity to resume in a phased manner. Otherwise, we'll end up having both an economic crisis, a livelihood crisis, and a disease crisis. This cannot be allowed. This has to be rectified immediately. Now, the, in Kerala, for instance, we have done this massive testing because of which we have been able to contain the spread of this pandemic. People who are being tracked that who have been in touch with those who tested positive and they are put in isolation and tested and that is the way this has to be done. If this has to be done, then the number of health personnel and people doing such activity has to increase. The central government must actively assist all the state governments in undertaking this job because only they can do that. ইয়েচুরি বলেন দেশের বাস্তব চেহারা অত্যন্ত খারাপ লকডাউনের ফলে শ্রমজীবী ও গরিব মানুষের পরিস্থিতি শোচনীয় বিরাট পরিমাণ মানুষ কাজ খুইয়েছেন আশঙ্কা করা হচ্ছে আরও মানুষ কাজ হারাবেন ইতিমধ্যেই বেতন ছাটাই করা হচ্ছে কেন্দ্রকে নিশ্চিত করতে হবে যেন শ্রমজীবীদের মজুরি এই সময়ে হ্রাস করা না হয় অনেক দেশের সরকার বেতনের আশি শতাংশ পর্যন্ত দেবার পদক্ষেপ নিয়েছে আমাদের এখানে কি করা যায় কেন্দ্রকে ভাবতে হবে মধ্যবিত্ত মানুষের ইএমআই পিছিয়ে দেওয়ার কথা বলা হয়েছিল এখন দেখা যাচ্ছে সুদ সহ তা পড়ে দিতে হবে এই সিদ্ধান্ত পরিবর্তন করা দরকার the lack of preparations for it, which we have spoken of earlier, they've caused immense difficulties to lakhs and lakhs of our people. Well, all that has already happened. But right now, what needs to be done is what we all will have to focus. What has happened? Yes, the government will be accountable, will be made to be accountable. And that is a matter that we'll see after the struggle is over. But right now, what needs to be done is the most important thing. First of all, the issues of people's livelihood. There is already reports of food star, I mean shortages. We should not lead to a situation where there would be starvation deaths. During the first two weeks of the lockdown, 
117 people have reportedly died due to lack of food or lack of shelter or exhaustion or a walking back to their homes. Now this situation has to be redeemed. It has to be corrected. That can only happen if there is a large scale distribution of food grains to all the poor and needy. And this can be done because in the government go downs today, you have nearly 7.5 crore tons of food grains that are lying there to be eaten by rodents or rotting. They should immediately be sent and to the states for distribution. You have a large amount of reporting of job losses. All the daily laborers have lost their job and livelihood. Even regular workers are being retrenched. Even when they are not being retrenched, there's a massive salary hikes that have been enforced to the tune of one third of their pay. The government had announced that salaries will be protected for three months. How? The employees, employers say they don't have any business, so they don't have money to pay. The government must guarantee. Many governments in the world have. Some have to the extent of guaranteeing 80% of the wage bill to the employer. But our government has not done anything like that so far. Lacks and lacks of people will lose their livelihood status as a result. This has to be corrected. Immediately, government announced announce that they will protect the salaries of all these people. Further, they announced that they will give relaxation on the monthly installments and loan repayments. But that has turned out that it will be a moratorium with interest accumulating. That means by the end, whenever this theft will end, after that, people will end up paying more. येचुरी बोलें कोरोना मुकाबिलर मूल काज जरा कुछ हैं निश्चित चिकित्सक और शास्त्रों को मिलते ज्योतिष्ट शुरुआत नहीं पीपीई नहीं एमुन की इम्से मोतो प्रथम शरीर हस्पातल और ज्योतिष्ट शुरुआत शामुग्री नहीं प्रतिदिन पांच लोगों पीपीई दौरकर तार धारे का चीज होय नहीं क्या কেননা আমরা দু মাস সময় নষ্ট করেছি 30 জানুয়ারি দেশে প্রথম করোনা সংক্রমণ ধরা পড়েছিল পিপিই রপ্তানি নিষিদ্ধ করা হয়েছিল 8 ফেব্রুয়ারি সেই নিষেধাজ্ঞা শিথিল করা হয় আবার 25 ফেব্রুয়ারি আরো শিথিল করা হয় অথচ দেশে পিপিই সরবরাহ বৃদ্ধির পরিকল্পনা নেওয়া হয়নি আমাদের উৎপাদকের সক্ষমতা বৃদ্ধি করে জরুরি ভিত্তিতে এই কাজ করা দরকার येचुरी बोलें केंद्र कोरोना मुकाबिला ए पौनरो हजार कोटी टका राज्यगुली के देवर कथा घोषणा करो छह ये परिमाण एक के बारी अप्रतुल्लो राज्यगुली के बोर्थी तो शाहत जो देवा उचित। The most important issue is the health of our health workers. Today we have a very abysmal situation where there is no protective gear that is available even in your premier hospitals, like the All India Institute of Medical Sciences. Many of them have succumbed to this infection. To this pandemic because of lack of proper protection. I mean this is the requirement today. We are saying the requirement is that we require 5 lakh of these protective suits every day. And what is the current state of our production? It's 12,000 per day. This just cannot be allowed to continue. What, how much of this was augmented during the period of the lockdown? The government must answer or government must tell all of us. Why is it in the first case was reported in India in January 30th and we, we banned the export of, of uh, uh, such equipment. But on February 8th, this was revised. February 25th, it was revised further, allowing eight more items to be exported. We had two months of time after the first case was reported to do all these preparations. Now this cannot be, be treated as a bygone. This has lethal and serious implications and accountability one, apart from that serious correction now is what is required and this can be done. This can be done if we are able to provide the resources for our own production units to produce and if this has to be done, we require now at least 500 of hot air seam sealing machines which can produce such a gear but at the moment, at the moment we have less than 150. 
immediately augment this. Otherwise, our battle against COVID, we, we are the COVID pandemic will get the upper hand, which we cannot afford. That is something that we'll have to immediately pay attention to. Now, finally, I would like to say that the central government has announced recently, in the last 48 hours, another 15,000 crores of rupees to be spent for containing this pandemic. This is grossly insufficient. Kerala alone has announced and has begun spending a 20,000 crore package in the state. For the whole of India, the Prime Minister is giving us only 15,000 crores. This is not acceptable and this has to be enhanced immediately and the states must be given the resources. They are being denied even the legitimate dues of transfer of GST revenues to them. This cannot continue. This has to be immediately corrected. ইয়েচুরি বলেন করোনার বিরুদ্ধে লড়াই গোটা দেশের ঐক্যবদ্ধ লড়াই এই সময়ে কোনো পক্ষপাত দুষ্ট আচরণ এই লড়াইয়ের ক্ষতি করবে সাম্প্রদায়িক মেরুকরণ বৃদ্ধির জন্য এই সময়কে ব্যবহার করা বিপজ্জনক হবে কোনো নির্দিষ্ট সম্প্রদায়কে চিহ্নিত করা চলতে পারে না এই প্রসঙ্গেই এক প্রশ্নের উত্তরে ইয়েচুরি বলেন দিল্লিতে তবলিকির জামায়াতকে কেউ ভালো হয়েছে বলবেন না কিন্তু এই বিষয়ে আরও কিছু প্রশ্ন রয়েছে কে এই জামায়াতের অনুমতি দিল কেন দিল এই ঘটনাকে ব্যবহার করে সাম্প্রদায়িকতা ছড়ানো এই সময়ে আত্মঘাতী কাজ কোথাও কোথাও স্বাস্থ্যকর্মীদেরও চিহ্নিত করা হচ্ছে হয়রানি করা হচ্ছে অথচ তারাই এই লড়াইয়ের যোদ্ধা এই আচরণ চলতে পারে না this is not the time when we can afford to sow prejudices and to fester prejudices which is what is happening from reports from many parts of the of the country now this will only disrupt and divide our united fight against covid the, the entire the habit of wanting to seek sharpening of communal polarization cannot be in such a cannot see such a criminal expression when the country is fighting, people are fighting for survival, battling this pandemic. Therefore, put an immediate end to this. The United Nations, the World Health Organization, all of them have come out saying that India must stop this sort of targeting a particular community. And this is something that will defeat our fight and purpose. So this is something the government must immediately put an end to and protect our health workers who are also being targeted as those who are spreading this virus. This is absolute shame. They are the ones who are really protecting us and saving the Indian people today and fighting this pandemic. Peer Report, Channel